Hey y'all, so we about to go see Mr. Katz. Nope. All right, so he left me a key. Mr. Katz? Yes, sir. I'm in the office. All right. How you doing this? Well, I think I'm we passed. I'm working. I about uh, to say this morning. I about to say how you doing this morning, but we passed morning. I uh, got the addresses to which I need to send my federal state returns and also the, the Kissy Company, of the CPAs who prepared my tax return. So you need to mail this, or you need to... But when I tried to print it, 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 it didn't print the whole, the whole thing. <clears throat> oh, it cut it off? Yeah, it cut it off. Let's see. So let's see. I'm also not sure what pages I need to send to the feds. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to figure this out. Okay, so first is where is the where is this document that you're trying to print? Just hit the uh, enter. This is from Kiss. Yeah. Kissy. Okay. It's and my. They have my federal and state returns in there. Okay, tax return. Is that the page? That's not this page. No. Uh, what I don't know what I hit differently than you did, but it starts. That's the first page. Okay, so all these were sent on April fifteenth. This is the only one that has an email attachment. I mean, it says state. Please print attached vouchers and mail off with to IRS and LA Department of Revenue. So I'm guessing we need to print both of these, so I'll go ahead and do right. that. As I say, when you get to this one, the federal, you can see my printer did not get the whole page. So this is individual tax electronic voucher. Okay, and so that's one. DocuSign. So these are the two, the two documents, but okay, here's one. This is this document. Yeah, this is this document. 
And this looks like the second page to that. Internal Revenue Service. Now we get. Yeah. So these two go together. But the thing is, so they sent you two attachments, but the two attachments are literally the same thing. See, that, that's the second document, but that's the exact same thing. So they sent you two of the same things. Good afternoon. Please print the attached vouchers and mail off with or mail off to IRS and LA Department of Revenue. So basically what they're saying is you need to mail this off to the IRS and the LA Department of Revenue. Right. And I got those addresses on that legal pad um I don't think I don't typically mail stuff so I don't know how that goes <coughs> um um do you have envelopes <coughs> Do you have envelopes? Mm-hmm. Where are your envelopes? Uh, in the other room. Can we go get them? Uh, yes. Yes, please. Or, or if you tell me where they are, I can go get them. No, I'll get them. Okay. So we're going to need two of these, so I'm going to print out I one. just have blank envelopes with my return address. Yeah. That's fine. to mailing so I, I can't even tell you the last time I mailed something uh, it's literally been years so um, he's gonna have to get stamps and uh, this is just a mess I mean, just in a way that, you know, this is not even a computer problem. He just needed help. So, you know, it's, it's a tough call because in one regard, you know, how do I charge him for this? Because this is not an actual technical problem. Uh, at the same time, I can't keep running out to do this. Um, these type of things. I mean, I, I don't mind helping at all, I, you know. I'm here because I want to help him. Um, but, you know, people tend to get dependent on you. And trust me, I understand that you need the help. But um, it gets to be a little bit rough because I feel bad about charging them full price. But yet, I'm if I'm coming here, I'm missing out on another client. So it's kind of... I don't know. It's, it's a rough thing. I, I don't even know how to handle that morally. Um, but I don't want to charge him my normal price for mailing off some documents like that. That, that ain't even cool. Um, I don't know. So I'm going to just have to, you know, charge him a little minimum fee for, for doing this. Uh, and then 
and figure it out. I don't know, but I definitely know I can't keep giving up, you know, with normal clients to do this type of work because uh, this ain't, it's not fair to him and it's not fair to me. Um, but trust me, I get it because uh, people don't have family to, to help them out and to do things for them and you need to get stuff done. So I, I definitely get it. You know, my thing is I just can't, I can't make this a regular occurrence. Now, if I could win a lot of other, on the other hand and pay for my house and stuff like that, hey, I'd love to go help everybody. I'd go help as many people as I can. They wouldn't have to worry about nothing. But unfortunately, haven't been able to do that just yet. Okay, I've got three stamped envelopes and three checks, three blank checks. Okay, now what are the blank checks for? Sir? What are the blank checks for? One for internal revenue, one for State Department of Revenue, and one for the CPAs who, who prepared my taxes. So you need to write them a check? Mm hmm You need to write them a check? Yes. Okay. All right, I guess you should probably sit here or you want to... All right, um... So I guess... How do you know how much you have to pay? Yeah, it's written on... On the returns, it's two ninety two on the feds, and sixty two on the state, and two eighty on Kissy Company. Oh, I see right here two ninety two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this this would be federal at two ninety two. Two ninety two, right? So you want to write that one out? Okay. All right, so that one's going to go with this. Is that 
Would that one have the entire page printed? How did you do that? What you mean? It's right here. Yeah, so I just print. I printed it from the PDF. Okay. Yeah, that's all. So I think you printed it from the. Uh, I think you printed this from the e-file or the agreement mm -hmm. between you and uh, Kiss, and I printed it directly from the PDF, so it didn't. Much better. Yeah, it well, didn't shrink. Glad you know how to do it. All right, so this is going to... And the address is on the legal pad. The yeah, internal we need, revenue. We need a... This is too big. I huh? Need, I need a pin. This is, this? No, this is too big. I don't want to... And then it's going to bleed. Do you have one? Uh, do I? No, I don't have one on me. All right, I'll go find one. Is this oh, one? good. You are a lifesaver. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I was a lost ball in high weeds. <laughs> All right, and... Could you drop those three envelopes in the mail for me? Uh, yeah. I don't know where the mail office is out here. Hmm? See, I don't know where, where the mail office is out here. Is that okay? It's, on, veter it's on veterans. Okay. Because I may just drop it at the mail by my house. Okay. Okay. Do they pick it up later today? They will pick up later today? It should be the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they should. And here's my credit card for you. Oh, um, I'll do that later. Huh? I'll do I'll send it to you in the, in the email. Okay. You want me to lick those and stick them? Uh, yeah, I was just going to go to the faucet, but if you want to lick them and stick them, you can. Huh? I was just going to go to the faucet and... That'd be fine. Alright, so there, they're all sealed. God bless you. Appreciate it. Alright. Need me to say anything to your camera? <laughs> if you want to, you can. My name is Alan Katz. I'm a resident of Jefferson Parish, and uh, Adrian Broussard has once again come to my rescue. He helped me uh, get my tax returns uh, together, uh, which had been prepared by a CPA who uh, uh, emailed them to me. Uh, Adrian figured out how to print them out and how to uh, get the forms made up properly for the Internal Revenue Service, and the Louisiana Department of Revenue. And I am eternally grateful to him, as usual. Adrian is a prince, and anyone who uses him for his services is very fortunate indeed. All right. Thank you so much. Anything else I can do That's before it. I go? Right. Oh. Hopefully I won't bother you again for a while. Oh, you never bothered me.
You never bother me. It's okay. All right, y'all. So we done. We're going to head on to the next uh, adventure. Peace. I'm sorry y'all, this may be funny to a lot of people, but I, <laughs> I don't do cool stuff and stuff, so I don't know how this works. I just want to make sure I don't really know how this goes. I think that's the little section where you go put them in, but I just want to make sure. So, what do we have to do? Um, I have to go to Shrivenu, but I don't know if I'm going to do that today. I'm going to save that for tomorrow. And tomorrow we also have to go to... What is it? To our shape. So, we may do both of those tomorrow. So, no, I uh, just need to... Um, when your husband takes money out of the bank account, it's going to say your husband. When the IRS takes right. money out of the account, they can take it where it says your husband, too. Yeah. All right, well, that would be easy. So now I will call Mr. Katz and just let him know. I dropped it at the post office. You're welcome. Hey, I just wanted to let you know I just dropped everything off at the uh, post office. <laughs> no problem. You have a good rest of your day. Bye bye. Used to be able to just drop them off in a box, but I guess they're not letting people do that right now. And I'll show y'all what I mean. So this is what I was talking about. Oh, this is a one way, Lord have mercy. But I need to turn around quickly, because this is a one way. All right, let me go focus on driving and I'll see y'all later.